why I really struggle, because what happens in summer is people go out, don't they, and they do stuff and they have opinions on it. Uh, <laughs> tends to piss me off a little bit, that kind of thing. And you realise the carnage that is created. Because in my lifetime, I would say I only remember sort of the last two summers are the only ones I remember where it's been sunny for like a week at a time. You used to get like, you'd open the curtains and you go, oh, the sunshine, look, let's have a barbecue. And your partner would say, well, it's only half seven in the morning. You'd say, oh, no, but let's have a breakfast barbecue because there's clouds coming and otherwise we'll miss it. So let's just set fire to the shed and put a sausage on it, please. Because <laughs> oh, it's raining now, don't matter. <laughs> You ruined it. Good summer, that one. Now you have summer, and you know you're in trouble because you turn the weather on in the morning and the weather people are outside showing you the weather is real so that you can believe it. <laughs> Carol Kirk was there going, hello, uh, I'm outside. Look, that's the sunshine. Very nice, isn't it? Very hot. Not too hot. I'm not dying. You know, it's quite far away. It's <laughs> sort of temperate. It's nice. You know, I'm not, you're thinking, oh, very well for you, but actually, because it's so far away, it's not just on this field. It's everywhere. You know, it's on all of us. <laughs> Works. I know it's Monday and you've got work, but don't worry, it'll still be sunny on Friday, OK? And that's the bit where we all go, I beg your pardon? <laughs> still sunny on Friday, you said, is it? The day when I go out and get pissed anyway, I can do that outside now, can I? I start emailing people now, and whatever city you live in, that's where you email people, the venue to meet. I live in London, here, uh, which obviously, uh, I'm not from London, you can tell by my accent, I'm from the North, but you're not allowed to be a comedian in the North, I have to move to London, and when the Queen's not looking, I steal a bit of gold, and one day I'll move back up North and build a house with it. <laughs> And they'll go, it's in what left, he's come back with gold. <laughs> Fox building houses with, let's make him to king. <laughs> so I live in the north, but I, I live in London now. What happens in London, everyone goes to the river, as you'll know. We all accumulate on the river when the weather is sunny. And there was a day last summer, everyone emailed each other Monday morning, and went, here, mate, you seen the Bertie Bever? <laughs> Don't know the rhyming slang for weather, I haven't checked. <laughs> it's close enough, innit? Bertie Bever, play for West Ham, 30 goals, legend. Um, <laughs> went, yeah, yeah, I've seen it, mate. Sunshine, innit? Fanshine, do it up the bum shine. <laughs> you, you, you come down the river Friday night, mate, five o'clock. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you there, four o'clock, mate. Work through lunch, four o'clock. Yeah, nice one, see you there. Apples and bananas, two for a pound. <laughs> uh, successfully email. This email went right across London as well. I don't know how they did it. You must be able to put into the address bar of an email, everyone at desks. <laughs> Swept London, so they all congregated Friday night at the river. But the last line of this email was P.S. Don't tell John. Uh... <laughs>